Hey guys, this is Andre at the Andre Lifestyle. This is a lifestyle channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. What was the worst memory you have about Coast Guard Boot Camp? Well, the worst memory? Yes. Um, well, we were there smack in the middle of the summer, so that had to do a lot with uh, all the, the intensive training that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, my worst memory, I think, has to be when we would do all that IT indoors. <laughs> oh, yes. It was awful. Like, I'd much rather be outside doing uh, IT. Like, it was windy, it was sunny. Uh, but just in there, it's just like a sauna, and then everyone's sweating at the same time, you're just in a bad mood. And then they have you get in and out of the same sweaty clothes a million times. I think those are the worst memories. Just as I hate, I hate being in my own sweat for hours. <laughs> that was fucking awful, wasn't it? Damn. It was awful. Holding, awful. Look. I would rather be outside sweating than indoor sweating. You guys, you guys, when you're getting IT'd inside of the barracks, it's not what you think it would be. It's holding things out in front of you for long periods of time. And because there's so many human bodies in that small space, there's a lot of sweat. There's a lot of heat that's being produced during that time, and it fucking sucks. Believe it or not, yeah. it really sucks. They just like close all the doors, and you have like all the condensation on the windows. It's awful. Like it's literally like a human-made sauna. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. Oh god. Uh, next question. <laughs> Did you ever get in any trouble during Coast Guard boot camp? Oh. <laughs> um. I remember one time that I didn't get in trouble a lot, but when I did, it was like pretty big. <laughs> so because I was a yeoman, I had to remind everybody when their medical appointments were and their dental appointments. And for some reason, I completely skipped over the one girl's name in our company that had an appointment that day. And I just got reamed for it. <laughs> like absolutely reamed for it. Right next to the girl. Oh, you're supposed to be responsible, but I was also accountable for her. So we're just getting beat next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys. I think, I think that was the most trouble I got into. Uh, you guys, you guys. I, I forgot to say this in the very beginning of the video. Uh, Cause she called me. Usually I call people and I like give you like a little like summary of who I'm calling. So uh, Bolaño is here. She was the yeoman for my boot camp, and what that means is that literally she's in charge of all the logistics of everything that's going on with every fucking recruit in Coast Guard, in, in our company. So her job was enormous, and she was always in contact with the uh, with the company commanders. She like if anything went wrong, it was on her shoulders. So you guys like. When I say, when I, when, if you guys saw my uh, Instagram story yesterday, when I say this girl's fucking amazing, she's fucking amazing. Like, there's no one else that I can think of that would be able to do the job that she was able to do in Coast Guard Boot Camp. It was, it was amazing to see and to witness it and be a part of it as well. So I just want to put that out there really quickly. Uh, next question. Uh, Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, look, I noticed greatness. Right? I noticed it. Uh, let me see, next question. What was the best memory you have about Coast Guard Boot Camp? Uh, best memory? Uh, it's gonna have to be when we did the confidence course. Yes, that was uh, so much fun. It was like week seven, it was like week seven or, yeah, week six or week seven. Uh, it was like the first chance like at boot camp that we kind of got to be like a family and cheer each other on and uh, actually like see how far we had come as a company. And it was just fun. Like, it was like one of the first days we actually had fun at boot camp. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah, I remember that. It was it was a great day for all of us. Um, yeah. Our morale was high. I remember that day. Yeah. Who? Okay, next question. Who was your favorite company commander and why? Ooh. It's a toss-up, but I'm going to have to go with uh, pay up the cart. I said the same thing um, to Jackson. I said the same thing to Jackson. Why, why, why Petty Officer Carve? Um, I mean, it's like the fact that he was our lead company commander. He was just, he had that like fatherly figure yes. aspect to him. Yes. And, you know, if we just didn't get along as a company, like he, he found no need to beat us as opposed to, you know, like, hey, like what's going on guys? Like, why aren't you guys getting along? 
at this point, uh, you guys should be molding together and just really trying to figure out what was, I guess, what was wrong with us and why we weren't, you know, um, just, yeah, molding together. And uh, yeah. yeah, he, a lot of the stuff that he said during boot camp, I know, I still remember like to this day, and like it helps me out. He just, he was always real with us. You know, it wasn't like gumdrops and you know loud pop. He kept it real throughout the entire eight weeks. You know, so you know, hey, this is gonna suck, that's gonna suck, but you kind of just stick it out. And you know, I admire that. Yep. You know, being completely real with us. And he said he, he's not a recruiter. You know, his his job is to bring people into the fleet that are gonna eventually work with him one day. Absolutely, like uh, he kept it real on the highest level, and I think that summarizes oh, yeah. Petty Officer Carf.